Alright, it's been a while since last time. Cut the intro, we'll get right into it. If you've done modding before, skip to the timestamp on screen, I'm just going to explain the basics for all the new people. Okay, so how it works is, modding is mostly replacing game files, right? We do this with Hedge Mod Manager, which I'll assume you've worked with before. What happens is, when the game asks for a certain archive, or pack, to be loaded, Hedge Mod Manager checks if that pack exists in any of the mods. If it does, it redirects the game to load from the mod instead. So say you copy character slash sonic dot pack into your mod and edit it to use a 3D model for shadow instead. When sonic dot pack is loaded, it will load the one from your mod and shadow will appear in game. Same concept for custom levels, but it uses multiple different pack archives. Okay, installation time. Go to the GitHub page in the description and download the zip as shown. If you extract it you'll see the asset packs, the add-on itself, and other resources. Let's open up Blender 4.2.03 and head up to Edit, Preferences and Add-ons. Click the arrow here and install from disk. Select the add-on zip and install. Down below you can see the list of programs the tool depends on for now, and the download button next to them. You just need to go through and download all the tools and put in the file path to the exe. Last thing is, you can attempt to enable internal tools with this button. For some people it works, but don't worry if it doesn't work for you. Next up is installing the asset packs. Go to Preferences, File Paths, Asset Libraries. Add the folders for each asset pack you need, I'd recommend getting all three. Now we can make our stage geometry, or terrain. Delete the default cube, camera, and light, but leave the collection. I'll name it terrain. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly model a platform, but you can model your own level or import a pre-made stage model. I'll list some useful resources in the description. Make sure that the materials you use don't have a dot in the name and only have a texture and no special shaders, since Hedgehog Engine 2 doesn't support most Blender shaders. Stage objects now. Expand any one of the workspaces and switch to Asset Library in the top left. This will show you the Blender built-in assets, but you can switch to either the Frontiers Asset Pack or the Shadow Asset Pack depending on which game you're modding with the top left drop-down. In Essentials, I'm just going to drag in the Start Position object, which looks like Shadow. This obviously determines where you will spawn. Also, create another collection for objects, and drag the Start Position in. Any objects you place must go in there, be careful not to put them in the terrain collection. Additionally, I'll just place down some rings here too. Let's export the level. Open Hedge Mod Manager, add mod, enter the title and press OK. This will open your mod folder. Go to Settings, open Game Directory. In image slash x64 you will see a raw folder just like your mod. To get the stage files, go to the stage folder. You'll see a ton of stage folders in here, and to find out which is which, you can open the add-on menu with M, select the game, go to quick export and select a stage from the list. Copy the corresponding stage folder, create a stage folder in your mod and paste it in. You also need to create a Get It folder for object layouts. Go to the Get It folder in the game files and copy the stage Get It In. Before we continue, remember if you have any issues you can message me about them on Discord at lightningwyvern underscore or ping me about it in the Hedgehog Engine modding server, linked below. Lastly, copy and paste your mods directory into Quick Export, select your terrain collection and object collection and hit export all.
First test run, enable your mod and hit save and play. As you can see, the stage has loaded in fine with the platform and rings. Now, let's quickly return to Blender before your ears get destroyed by Chaos Island dubstep. Anyway, you probably want to know how to edit parameters and settings for objects. Take this normal floor for example. If you go over to the blue wrench tab on the bottom right, you can see a bunch of settings to play around with, which have previews for some settings as well. For objects that support movement previews, press space while hovering over the viewport to play them. For some objects, these parameters may not be enough. If so, go to the orange square tab and enable manual parameters. This allows you to edit all available parameters, but not all of them have previews. Back in game, we can see that both of these objects have worked with the correct parameters. One last thing you should know about is how to make rails and paths. Press Shift A and add Curve, Bezier. Go into the menu and click Curve to Hedgehog Path. To edit the shape of this, you can press Tab to go into Edit Mode, and select and move the nodes. Press E at the end of the path to extend it, and press Ctrl T to tilt the selected points. Make sure the path is also in the object's collection. And as you can see, it works great. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the level in the background here. If you're new to Blender and want to model your own levels from scratch, I'd recommend some YouTube Blender tutorials first, as Blender is a huge tool with so many features, I couldn't cover them in a lifetime of tutorials. Secondly, something to keep in mind is that until version 5 comes out, you cannot make a quality level using only the level creator. Other tools, especially Angrizor's dev tools will be needed to polish up your level and make it presentable. Finally, some advice on troubleshooting materials. If an object turns white there is a missing or broken texture, if it turns invisible there is a missing material, and if it starts to glitch in a wide range of colors it's a broken material. Here's the level, completed for now. I decided not to go in depth in this video, so let me know if you want anything more advanced in the future. Anyway, see you next time.